Hello friends, Jennifer here. So happy to be with you today. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes during our children's message time about our hearts. So I've made this heart that we're going to use in just a little bit. And this heart reminded me of the book of Jeremiah in the Bible, where God tells the whole nation of Israel, I will put the law in their heads and write it on their hearts. So I was thinking about what could that mean? Put the law in their heads and write it on their hearts. Hmm. Think about that a second. And as I was thinking about that this week, I think it means that God gave those people, the Israelites, the ability to know right from wrong. But you know what else I think? I think that God has given us that ability too, you and I. So not only did they have that in their heart, but so do we. And we know the difference between right and wrong. And then, you know, I started thinking, well, I sure do make mistakes. Hmm. And bad choices. And sometimes we just have to kind of learn as we go, right? We know right from wrong. And we know that the rules, God's rules, can help us make very good choices. So why then sometimes do we ignore what's right and what's wrong? Why do we make bad choices, right? So that's where my heart comes in. So I'm going to put a few marks on my heart. So right now I have a just a white heart with red around the edges, right? Just paper. And so I'm going to put a few marks on it. Hmm. So that mark is hmm, that time when I was asked to clean up and hmm, I kind of forgot. And let's do another one. This mark is, oh, when my friend made me mad, so I called her a bad name, right? And so even as grown-ups, we get marks on our heart, times when hmm, we really didn't say the best thing to someone, or maybe we didn't make the best choice for ourselves or for someone else. And, you know, sometimes I think that we think we just know what's best for us. Maybe we know better than what God says in his rules. Or sometimes we make bad choices because we want to choose the fun thing and not necessarily the thing we need to do. And sometimes we just don't even think about it before we do it. It just kind of happens. Has this ever happened to you? And so we get a marked heart with some of the bad choices that we've made. But there is a solution when we do something that we know is wrong. And it's called forgiveness. And in the Bible, it teaches us that God will forgive our sins and remember them no more. Isn't that amazing? God will forgive our sins and remember them no more. So why do we still have marks on our heart then? If God has forgiven us and he's not remembering the marks on our heart. So let's do this. Let's get rid of these marks on our heart. So today I wanted to show you my light. Does everybody see my light? So this is the light of God. And the light of God, when we ask for forgiveness, can remove those marks from our heart. So here are the marks from our heart. Here's God's light. And we're going to put them together. And we're going to erase the sin. So watch closely what happens to the sin as we add God's light. Can you see what's happening there? Oh, let's do this one. What did it do, friends? Look what God's love and God's forgiveness can do for us. It erased the sin. Isn't that amazing? No more sin left in our hearts. And so when we ask God for forgiveness, he will forgive us and he will remember that sin no more. So I want you to remember that. So friends, let's offer a little prayer before we go today. Dear God, be with us and help us make our best choices. And when we don't make our best choices, please be our light and erase our sin. Amen. See you soon, friends. Take care.